This video will show you how to assemble your dental handpieces. For your lab skill, your materials will be supplied for you. On your tray, you have a low speed motor, a straight attachment, a contra angle, a high speed handpiece, a profi angle, a laboratory burr, a mandrel, and a disc. This is a burr block which contains your restorative dental burrs. These are just a few examples of the wide variety of restorative burrs available for tooth preparation. To assemble your high-speed handpiece, it is one unit. Match up the tubes on the high-speed handpiece to the holes on the coupler. For your skill purpose, it does not matter which coupler you choose. There is only one correct way for the handpiece to attach. Line up the holes and securely attach it by turning the coupler. Do not turn the hose. Turning the hose can twist and break the tubing inside. Secure the coupler and select the appropriate burr called out by the instructor. For this example, we're going to select a 702 burr, which is a tapered fissure crosscut burr. An up-close look at the burr shows that the tip is tapered and the flutes have notches in them which are your cross cuts. This handpiece has a push button lock. Push firmly on the back of the head and insert the burr. Always tug on the burr to verify that the burr is secure. If it comes out when you test it, it is likely to come out while the doctor is using it and that can injure the patient. Reinsert the burr. Firmly push the burr into the handpiece while you're pushing on the back locking mechanism. Never push on the tip of the burr with your finger. The burrs are sharp and can easily puncture your glove and finger. Once it is assembled, you can hang it up on the appropriate holster. There are several different ways to assemble your low speed handpieces. For the first example, we're going to attach our contra angle. This is a quick connect adapter. You simply push the two pieces together and it will click into place. Select another handpiece coupler and attach the motor to the tubing. Again, there is only one way for the tubes to line up properly. Secure the handpiece to the tubing and select the appropriate burr called out by the instructor. For this example, we're going to select a number four burr, which is a round burr. Make sure you select a right angle or latch style attachment. You must have a latch style attachment to fit into the contra angle. The high speed handpiece used a friction grip burr. To open the locking mechanism, swing the piece on the back of the handpiece. Fully insert the burr into the handpiece. Once it is in, lock your handpiece. If the burr slips out, it has not been fully inserted. Reopen the lock, twist and gently push back on the burr, and you will feel it slip into place. Lock the handpiece and retest the burr. Once it is fully assembled, you may hang it up on the appropriate holster. To disassemble this handpiece, swing the latch lock open and remove the burr. Place the burr back into the burr block. After patient treatment, the entire burr block is taken to sterilization. To remove your contra angle, simply pull the two pieces apart. The next example shows the straight attachment being attached to the low speed motor. Several items may be attached to the low speed motor with the straight attachment, such as the profi angle, the laboratory burr, or the mandrel and disc. This handpiece has a collar style locking mechanism. The circular ring, when it's pushed down, is in the open position. When you twist to the left and push it up, it is locked. Grip the collar firmly, twist to the right, and push down. This will unlock the locking mechanism. To attach the profi angle, line up the bump on the straight attachment with the notch or groove in the profi angle. Lock your handpiece and verify that it is secure. This profi angle may now be used. 
To disassemble the profi angle, unlock the straight attachment by firmly gripping the collar and twisting down and to the right. You may then pull the profi angle off. To attach a laboratory burr, make sure the straight attachment is unlocked and insert the burr into the opening. Once the burr is inserted, twist the collar to lock it and verify the burr is secure. Unlock the handpiece and remove the burr and insert the mandrel. Lock the mandrel in place and attach a sandpaper disc. Now the low speed handpiece is ready to be used with the mandrel and sandpaper disc. To disassemble, remove the disc, unlock the straight attachment, remove the mandrel, and pull the straight attachment off the motor. Unscrew the coupler to remove the handpiece. To disassemble the high speed handpiece, remove the burr by pushing on the back of the handpiece to unlock it and pull the burr firmly out. Place the burr into the burr block and then the entire burr block will be taken to sterilization. Unscrew the coupler to release the handpiece from the hose. Always follow your manufacturer's recommendations when it comes to maintenance and care of your handpieces.